Hey guys, well, we've been talking about plants and science this week. And when I think of plants, I think of farming, don't you? Um, I want you to watch a video with me. And I want you to think about some engineering that would be involved in farming. This is a pretty amazing irrigation system. We're going to look at irrigation for a few minutes today and see what irrigation is and how it's using science and engineering and technology to get water to plants in an area where they would need water. So take about a minute and take a look at this engineering and design that's gone into this irrigation system. In addition to center pivots, Ranky has developed lateral move systems that can irrigate virtually 100% of rectangular or square fields. Made of high strength steel, Ranky laterals are available as canal feed and hose drag systems and with a four wheel or two wheel power tower. The four wheel drive tower provides the maximum pulling power necessary for large fields. The unit's floating axles keep all four tires on the ground, giving it the traction to pull the large hoses required by high flow systems. For the ultimate in lateral versatility, Ranky offers the pivoting lateral move system. After traveling down one side of the field, the system can pivot 180 degrees and return up the other side, allowing you to irrigate twice as many acres with half the equipment. Versatile and efficient, all Ranky laterals can be equipped with a self-contained engine and generator. Guidance options for Ranky lateral move systems include cable, furrow, and fence line guidance, along with buried wire and navigator GPS guidance. Well, what'd you think about that? Let me stop, stop this for a second. All right. Yeah. So that was called in, in, that's called irrigation and irrigation is in your science book on page 211. If you'd like to turn there, this looks similar to what we just saw, except on this one, the wheels are over here instead of over here where they were. So irrigation system, what did you notice about it? What was it doing? It was taking water to plants, wasn't it? You may not know this, but I grew up on a strawberry farm. And so my parents, just less than a mile, just back behind Russville Elementary, where there's that church, Parkway Church, there's a bunch of houses there now, but all around the church and at the top of the hill was my grandparents' house. And all around there and back behind it, way back in the fields, were fields and fields and fields of strawberries. We had about six or seven acres of strawberries when I was growing up, which was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun too. And my dad and I put in irrigation system into our strawberries. Now I was just in high school, so I didn't do a whole lot, except I had to help him with one thing. And that was when we would do our irrigation system, it was a bit different. We didn't have these fancy ones like this. What we did was kind of what you do with your water hose. You know how you hook your water hose up to a spigot at your house? Well, all throughout the fields, we put these boxes that sat on the ground and it had a lid on them. And then when you open the lid up, it had a huge spigot, like 10 times as big as the spigot on your house. And we had these big old aluminum pipes. They were aluminum like Coke cans, but they were thicker than Coke cans. But since they were aluminum, it made them lighter. So dad and I could carry a big one that might be 50 yards long by ourselves, maybe not quite that long, more like 25 yards long. And we would carry them and we would hook them, hook one up to the spigot. And then we'd hook another one till it got all the way to the end of the, of the berry patch. And then we'd put a plug, a little metal plug on the end of it. And it would, when we turn the spigot on, it would spray water all over the berry patch. Those, those irrigation <coughs> pipes would, and it worked very well. But one of the things we had to do that I remembered growing up was if it was going to be a, if the berries had flowers on them, like we've been studying about how plants make flowers. Well, strawberries, they grow close to the ground. But before that berry comes, there's all kinds of little white flowers that grow on the strawberry plants. And that's the center of that plant. The center of the flower is where the berry starts growing. But if it's going to be frosty and then in the evening, in the spring, when those flowers start growing, um, it'll kill the kill the flowers, which will kill the berries, and we wouldn't have any berries to sell. So we would have to set out irrigation pipes, and it did something really cool. 
those irrigation pipes, we would turn them on and they would spray. And then when it dropped down below freezing, that water that was on the, the, the blossoms, the flowers would freeze and form a protective barrier around the flower. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? So it would be like a frozen blossom, but that would protect it. Somehow it protected it from killing it by the frost. And then it would melt in the morning and hopefully um, it worked every time because it, we never lost any, any, berry, any berries because of that frost. But the thing was, dad and I would have to sit out. We would sleep in the truck when we had to do that overnight because if a plug blew off an end of an irrigation pipe, um, it would spray water everywhere and it would, we would lose, it would cost a lot of money because there's a lot of water going through these irrigation pipes. So every hour we would take turns in the middle of the night with a flashlight and go out and walk around the fields and make sure the irrigation pipes were not leaking or the plugs hadn't been, hadn't blown off the end of them. So I, I have some experience with irrigation in my life. And so we're going to do two things today. We're going to take a quick look uh, at this, this book. Um, in your book here, uh, what it says about irrigation, it's kind of connecting engineering and technology to plants, which we're learning about. And then since it's got a lot to do with farming, we're going to watch a Bill Nye video on farming on the next slide. And it has a lot of irrigation in it as well as other, as, as well as other technology that farmers use. We don't a lot of times think about technology, you know, like a cell phone and things like that. Um, with farming, but there's a lot of it. In that video we just watched, did you hear them say that that little thing that was going through the field could use GPS guidance? That's pretty high tech, isn't it? So engineering and technology are involved in farming too. Well, let's get into this book lesson here, how it works. A water irrigation system. A water irrigation system moves water to where it is needed. This water may come from rivers, lakes, or wells. Pumps and valves control the movement of water into and through the system. Farmers use a control panel to determine how much and how quickly water moves through a field. This is a big, huge field. And we see the different parts here. And so it's got this uh, concrete frame here and you see the, the water pipe running to it. And then down here, that water pipe goes into the bottom where there's a pump and a check valve. And then you've got this frame holding everything up it's called the A-frame. And on the side here, you've got this little box you would open up. It's the control panel where you put the amount of water you want flowing through and things like that. Maybe a timer. You've got the center pivot gear. And you've got the pipe and the drip pipes. So you've got these little pipes going down. It's the water's dripping or spraying out of. And these pipes are set on the ground. These pipes are up in the air with the wheels out there. So pretty cool. Now you might've seen a sprinkler in your yard. Your dad might've used a sprinkler. That's a type of irrigation, simple type of irrigation system too. <coughs> and so, um, and if you have a garden, you might have something like this. You might have a water hose connected with several sprinklers spraying your garden. People use irrigation systems to water their vegetable garden at home. Look at a picture of a backyard irrigation system, label its parts and then answer the questions. Well, we call that the spigot. It's connected to the spigot. What are these things that are spraying water out? We call them sprinklers. And of course, there's a hose. So what are some parts of the irrigation system not shown in the diagram? Well, there's water, right? I guess water is shown. But underground, going up into the wall right here, there's pipes. It's taking the water to that spigot. It's probably down in, in the basement or underneath the house. There's many pipes there. Okay. What are some problems here? Let's take a look at how this irrigation system is working. Number one, where the water hose is connected to the spigot, this happens a lot of times. There's water spraying out the side. So it's got a leak right there. So a lot of water is leaking out right there. It's going to kind of flood the ground right here, and it's not going through the hose. Then look at this first sprinkler. Boy, it's putting out a lot of water, isn't it? It's doing good. But look at the second one. There's not much water coming out of this. And look at the third one. There's hardly any water coming out. So what's happening? Well, there's less water pressure the further you go along in the hose because all the water's coming out here and here. There's not much to come out here. So how would you fix that? How would you solve that problem? 
you might have just to use one sprinkler, huh? Instead of having three different sprinklers, because that sprinkler's spraying all the way over to this one. If you could just use, number one, eliminate that leak. You might have to put some, uh, the little round thing, that the little round rubber thing inside it um, that keeps it from leaking, some kind of seal that keeps it from leaking out there. And then if you just had one hose and put the sprinkler more in the center, then that's going to spray it. It's going to even be more efficient and spray further. And you won't have water over here being wasted in this part of the pipe. So the closer you are to the source with a little simple water hose like this, the more pressure you're going to have. That's what I would do. What would you do? Okay. So we're going to, <laughs> we're going to take a look at, <coughs> excuse me, at a Bill Nye video now. And about halfway through the video, he's going to show you an irrigation system used on the farm. But I want you, as you go through this Bill Nye video, not just to think about plants like we've been talking about, but think about the different plants, but also think about some of the engineering and technology that it takes to make a farm work. Okay. Enjoy that video for today and we'll see you tomorrow.